Abraham and Sarah were getting old, but they did not have any children. They prayed hard to God to grant them a child, and finally God heard their prayers. You are a good man, Abraham, and I know you love me. Don't worry. You will have a child, and many descendants as well. As God had promised, Abraham and Sarah were soon blessed with a beautiful baby boy. Both of them were overjoyed and named the baby Isaac. Oh Lord, I have no words to express my gratitude to you for this precious gift you have given us. Abraham and his wife Sarah watched with pride and joy as their son grew up into an obedient and loving son. Abraham taught his son to love and worship the Lord just as he did. He made it known to him that he was a very, very special child who God had promised to Abraham and Sarah. Isaac learned his lessons well and made his parents proud of him. One day, God decided to test Abraham's faith in him and visited him one night. Abraham. Abraham. Who, who is it? It is me, Abraham, your Lord. I have come to ask you something. Tell me, do you really love me? How can you even ask me such a question, my lord? There is nothing and no one that I love more than you. Well, then, will you do as I tell you to without questioning me? Of course, God. I don't even know why you even doubt that I will disobey any command you give me. I have spent my entire life loving, worshipping, and obeying you. I know. I know. But this will be a very difficult test for you. I am willing to undergo any test you have for me. Your wish is my command, O oh Lord. Good. That is what I expected to hear from you. Now listen carefully. Tomorrow morning, as the sun starts rising, I want you to take your son, Isaac, to a mountain I will direct you to. And there I want you to offer him as a burnt sacrifice to me. In those days, Burnt sacrifices were made of animals, which were tied to an altar made of wood and stones, and then burnt. Abraham couldn't believe what he was hearing. Offer his son to God, the child that God himself had given him. But then he thought about what God had told him earlier about having many descendants. God has promised me descendants, but how will I have descendants unless I have a son? I cannot question God for he knows best. It is a very tough test that God wants me to take. I don't know how I will be able to kill my own son. What is the matter, Abraham? Is it too difficult a task for you to obey? Your love for your son means more than doing what I am asking you to do? No, no, God. My son is, after all, your gift to me. So if you want him back, how can I refuse? Good. So now listen carefully to what I am going to tell you. Tomorrow morning, I will guide you to the place where you must sacrifice your son. It is in the land of Moriah. I will do as you say, God. The next morning, Abraham called for his two servants and told them to saddle up and load the donkey with wood and prepare to go on a journey. He then called his son. Isaac, my son, God wants me to make a burnt sacrifice, and you have to come along with me for this. Yes, father, but where do we have to go? We have to go to Moriah, son. Though I too do not know the exact place, God will show us the way to get there. So Abraham, along with his son and two servants, 
set off to where God wanted him to make a sacrifice of his son. The thought of killing his beloved son made his heart very heavy, but he did not show his feelings to his son. They walked for two whole days, eating the food they were carrying and sleeping on the road. Finally, on the third day, Abraham saw in the distance the mountain where God wanted him to make the sacrifice. On reaching there, Abraham told his servants to wait with the donkey while he and Isaac went up. Isaac, you carry the wood, and I will carry the knife and coal. The coal is too hot for you to carry. As they were climbing up, Isaac looked questioningly at Abraham. Father? Yes, my dear child? You said that God had asked you to make a burnt sacrifice. Yes. We are only carrying the wood for the altar, but where is the animal that has to be sacrificed? Abraham didn't know what reply to give his son, so he just looked away. Tell me, father, where is the animal? Son, I have full faith in my Lord. He will provide the animal to be sacrificed. Abraham and Isaac proceeded to the top. And when they reached there, Abraham set about to make the altar with stones and wood. As he was doing so, tears were streaming down his face. Why are you crying, father? What is the matter? Abraham quickly wiped away his tears and looked at his beloved son with a sad smile. Nothing, my child, nothing. Though Abraham had full faith in his Lord and couldn't think of disobeying him, he still dreaded the thought of plunging a knife into his only and most loved son. However, the thought of not doing what God wanted him to do never crossed his mind. He slowly started gathering big rocks and placed them one on top of the other and then placed the wood over them. When the altar was ready, he gently tied his son's arms and led him to it. Isaac was horrified, but did not utter a word. My son, I cannot tell you how much it pains me to do this, but I must do it. It is my word to God. Please, son, never ever doubt my love for you. With a deep breath, Abraham raised the knife high above his head. But before he could bring it down and kill his son, an urgent voice called out to him. Stop, Abraham. In the name of the Lord, stop. You will not hurt your son. <sighs> what? Abraham looked up and saw an angel standing there. The angel looked at Abraham with a gentle smile. God is very happy with you. To obey his order, you were willing to sacrifice your beloved son, who means so much to you. You have proved that your love for God is above everything and everybody. But now you do not have to sacrifice your son. Abraham could not believe his eyes. He breathed a deep sigh of relief and knelt down with his arms outstretched. Praise be to my Lord, the Master! The Lord will grant you as many descendants as there are stars in the sky, as there are grains of sand on the beaches. You are the Lord's blessed one. Glory be to you, O God! I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Abraham got up and went to his son and untied him. Come to me, my precious child. I hope you know that I love you dearly, but I had to do what I did as I could not disobey my Lord. I know, father, and I never doubted your love for me even for a minute. Both father and son hugged each other joyously. Just then, Abraham heard a sound. He looked around and saw a ram that had got caught by its horns in a bush. He quickly went and killed the ram, offering it as the sacrifice instead of his son. He then held his son's hand, and they both turned around to make their way down. This place shall be called Jehovah Jireh, which means the Lord provides. Those who love him will always have his blessings. So saying, both father and son went down and headed back home.